Perfect. My name is Gerald Morales, and right now I'm coming home to surprise my mom. Uh, it's been two years since I saw her last. For the past two years, I've been stationed overseas in Iwakuni, Japan. Your mom has no idea? Uh, she has none. We've had people watching her for the past couple of days to make sure, you know, see if there's any, any attitude changes. Maybe she has a little inkling, but nothing. Then as soon as you get in the office, make sure she's in there. Right. The logistics was, was quite astonishing. Like we talked to her manager, and she thinks that she has a meeting to go to at 1.45. No, I really haven't had any decent Christmases that didn't involve my mom. You know, she, is, she, like, she is the reason why we love to celebrate this time of year. You know, she brings the family together, and uh, I love her. I really do. You know, she, like, she supported me in everything that I've done. Oh, I know she's going to be crying, and there's, there's, she's going to scream. It's, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be unforgettable. What the hell? <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh my God. <laughs> Lazarus Brown was on a covert mission, sneaking into the cafeteria of Barbara C. Jordan Intermediate School. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Number four. Just feet away, Sergeant Brown's daughter walked in, thinking she was there for a garden variety lunch. We're starting something new today. But then the principal announced a new program called Student of the Month. And it's Malia Bennett. <laughs> I believe he finally came. I'm so excited. Uh, I've been gone for a while. And to see her face and uh, how excited she was to see me was, uh, was awesome. Sergeant Brown, who's in the Air Force, has been in Afghanistan for six months. He was supposed to come home Saturday, but instead flew 19 hours and landed at midnight. His wife sneaked him into his own home, into the guest bedroom. Threw a boxes and whatnot, so I, I kind of hid in there. He waited for another 13 hours before he could hold his children. I smelled something like he was home. Like I could smell his scent, but I didn't, I wasn't thinking about it. But the family was still not complete, and together they headed over to Watts Elementary School, where his five-year-old son, Lazarus, was in the library, his teacher reading a book about the military. When Lazarus looked up, his father was standing in front of him. And for the first time in six months, the family was finally together.
Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> She's balling. She hadn't seen her brother for a while. <laughs> Excited? Yeah. Who's gonna run the fastest to see him? <laughs> <laughs> it's really exciting. They're actually here and we just can't see them yet, so we're both kind of dying right now. Long wait for dad to come home, but I think the kids miss them the most. <laughs> local military family, a nearly year-long deployment ended with a trip to school. Take a look at the reunion at Indian Knoll Elementary this afternoon. Dominic and Ryan Judson thought it was just another assembly, but look at there. That's dad. The teachers and principal were in on the surprise. Staff Sergeant Lyle Judson deployed to Djibouti, Africa last June, making for one long separation. Oh, man. When they went to church, I usually got a phone call. We Skyped and Facebooked each other and stuff. So... They were off. I got to see him, so it was exciting. So. Very exciting. Judson first reunited with his wife and two-year-old daughter at Hartsfield-Jackson Airport this morning, and then they drove on up to the school, and the boys were pretty much in shock. 